Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make a basic respawn system, similar to what you see in the old arcade games. Uh, if you take a look on the screen right now, you'll see where it says lives 2, just above the health bar. And if I kill my character, it decrements it down to 1. And if I go to 0, I've got no more extra lives, and I can't respawn. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we need to access our game mode. So I'm just going to use the game mode base class, the third person game mode, since I'm in the third person template. And on begin play, we want to, actually we need to get a reference to the character first. So you get player, the player character, and we're going to bind on event destroyed. So bind destroyed, bind event on destroyed, and we will run that on begin play to initialize it. Then we're going to create a custom event. And I'm going to name this respawn. And this will be our event that runs our whole process of respawning a new character and creating a new binding. Uh, so we're going to take our destroyed actor, and we're going to get class. And then we want to spawn actor from class. Let's back that up. And this is just going to respawn the same type of character that we already have. Just keep things simple. Uh, we need to set a transform. So I'm just going to set the Z to 500. And that should be a good location for us to spawn our new character. And from there we need to possess that character. So we'll get the player controller. And we want to possess. So we'll search for possess. And for the in pawn, we're going to want to possess this character we spawned here, but this is only an actor, so we need to cast. And I'm going to cast a character. This will identify the class for us and allow us to possess it. Just connect those all up. And the last thing we need to do here is to bind the event again. I'll just copy those nodes. And this is basically just setting it so we can respawn multiple times. And take the event and connect it to our respawn custom event. Let's do a little wire clean up here. All right. Now that's basically it, but we also need to create a way to kill our character just so we can test it. And so I'm going to right click my character edit third person character and I'm just going to make a simple little script when I press the key button I'm going to destroy actor and destroy self simple as it gets all right so let's go and play Got our character we can move around as you can see I'm near this wall press Q spawns us a new character and so test it once more. Let's lose a little bit of health here. All right, press Q, have a new character. You can see it's full health again. So we know it works. Um, that's your basic respawn right there. Uh, for most arcade games, you know, back in the day, you had a set number of lives. So let's add that in as well. So we're just gonna create a little space here. And let's create a variable called lives. Very original. I'll make that an integer and we will get that. We want to check to see if it is greater than zero. And if it is greater than zero, then we can respawn. If it's not greater than zero, then we're going to want to have a game over screen or something like that. So we'll just say create widget. And I don't have a widget ready for this, so I'm not going to connect it up. Instead, I'll just do a print string, and this will tell us if we fail. So I'll just have to say game over. All right, and we also need to decrement our lives whenever we respawn. So I'm just going to make a little bit more space. We'll get our lives variable again. Just drag it on. Do it get. And we need to decrement, so we'll just do minus minus and decrement integer. 
decrement will subtract it by one and then reset the value. All right, and the last step here is to set a default value for our lives. Um, I'll just make it two for now. And let's play. So we got our character, we can move around again, kill him, respawn, kill him again, respawn again. The last time, we get a game over at the top left there. And yeah, that's your basic respawn system. It's very simple, it's easy to make, and yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks, have a great day.